Yo guys, it's Zola here, and today I'm going to show you how to make your gun disappear entirely. It only works with sniper rifles, but it's, I mean, I think it's still pretty cool. Now after that, I'm going to show you guys how to do the sword glitch, which most editors use in order to get really cool looking cinematics of the environment in the game. So first I'm going to show you the sniper glitch, and then I'm going to show you that. So in order to do this, you're going to have to get yourself a sniper rifle. It has to be one with a changeable scope, which means it can't be anything like Devil's Dawn, where the scope is always the same. When you're doing this, there's three steps to it really. The first step is to make sure you have it equipped. The second step is to switch this scope. And the third step is to back out of your inventory and spam the left trigger as fast as you possibly can. If it works, then your gun will disappear but if not, you'll just have to keep trying until it does. I almost never get it on my first try, but it's so much easier than actually trying to get the sword glitch on your first try. So without further ado, let's get into this. Into the inventory, you're gonna select your sniper rifle, switch the scope, back out and spam the left trigger. And you can see here it didn't work because my scope changed and the, it didn't disappear. So I have to switch back switch the scope back out and spam and sometimes it takes a little while so just keep going until the sniper rifle disappears like that so you can see that even though the gun is gone it's still firing uh you can't hear it but it still works and it still does damage if you switch to your primary and then switch back to your secondary you'll see it's still invisible and it will still fire I uh, took my time here, but you can see it's doing damage and I'm landing headshots and getting full crit damage. The invisible reticle makes it a little bit difficult to land shots, but if you played the game for as long as I have, I'll admit I'm not a day one player, I actually started the day after, but that is not important. If you've been sniping for as long as I have, you'll realize that it's really not that difficult to land shots anyway. Now like I said, the reason that this is so cool is because you can use it to get a different sort of depth of field effect on what you're looking at. For example, when I'm looking at the spin metal, the things that are closer are blurred and everything just looks, in my opinion, it looks a little bit more realistic in terms of distance. And you don't only have to use it to look at things that are really close, you can also use it to look through things at things that are further away, or just directly at really far away objects. One of my favorite things to use this glitch for is to record other guardians running around and doing stuff. I mean, I don't normally just go into patrol and record people. Usually I would have a plan and I would be, I don't know, doing private matches so I could record them for a montage. But in this case, I followed this random around and just basically recorded everything he did while using the sniper glitch. And I think it looks pretty cool. Later, I'll show you some examples of the sniper glitch in use. And I'll also show you some examples of this one. But right now, I'm going to show you the sword glitch. Now, the sword glitch is a lot harder to do because it just takes a lot more timing than the other one does. But basically, you switch weapons and then spam the melee twice. And if you melee or throw something, it doesn't work. If it does work, you'll see, like right now, your gun just disappears entirely. Now, I have my HUD off, so it looks like there's nothing at all. But basically, this is what it looks like when you're doing the sword glitch effectively. As you probably see here, everybody else can still see you, you just can't see yourself really. <laughs> so it's a lot easier to mess this one up too. If you double jump on a hunter, I know you'll be fine, but if you sprint, you'll lose the glitch and you're going to come back and you'll have to do it again. Once you get the rhythm of it, you'll be able to do it pretty easily and pretty quickly like I did right there, but it's still pretty annoying that you can lose it so easily from meleeing or switching weapons or something especially when it's an accident. Now a little tip for you if you're trying to get the rhythm down. When you switch weapons in melee, if you end up throwing something or you know doing the melee animation, that means that you waited a little bit too long to hit it. And if you switch weapons and hit melee, and instead of meleeing, if you just put the weapon away, that means that 
you did it too soon. Some good uses for this glitch are if you're trying to get a good angle on something that's larger than you are and is fairly close, then this glitch is a lot more effective than the sniper glitch because you can actually see the entire thing. Another good use is for getting like wide angles on things that are far away or just really big like I said before, like yeah, entire landscapes for example. Alright, now it's time to show you some examples. I can tell you right off the bat that this one is done with a sniper glitch. Recognize that? That's right, it's the sniper glitch. Wanna take a guess at what this one is? If you guessed it was the sniper glitch, then you'd be right. Time for that million dollar question again. Which glitch do you think this is? If you said it was the sniper glitch, then you'd be dead wrong. It's actually the sword glitch. I actually used both glitches in this section. Right now, you're looking at the sniper glitch. This right here, this is a sword glitch. Well, that just about does it for the content of this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, and if you really enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to see the rest of the montage that's being played, and that I used for the examples, there should be a link in the description, and one on screen as well. I don't know how many of my subscribers are editors, so if you're on one, let me know in the comments, and I might start doing a video series on, you know, little tips and stuff for editors especially beginners who want to learn how to do better. I'm not a phenomenal editor myself, but everybody can teach somebody else something. My Q&A and my Hawkmoon Roulette video should be coming out pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. Raptor out.